In this very short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the online version of PowerPoint to do live captioning with your presentations. And I have a very simple PowerPoint here. And to do live captioning, all I need to do is go to the Slideshow tab. And you can see there is a subtitle option here. I can click here first to make sure that I have chosen the correct subtitling language. And I can also choose where to put the subtitles. So I can have them appear over the slide or underneath the slide or above. And I can click always use, make sure that's clicked on and then choose present live. That should work okay. Now you will see that there is an option here where it shows a URL so that someone can actually join live on their own computer or with a camera. So if you're presenting this in a classroom at this point, students could point their camera with and open it in their browser, or they can use the URL, which is here. I'm just going to take a quick note of that, and that will change for every presentation it's just generated at the time. And just going to click through that, and you will be able to see that as I am talking, the captions are appearing underneath, showing what I'm saying. And it's as simple as that. So this is, can be really useful in a classroom because you can use this in your classroom. And if you have students with some hearing difficulties, then they should be able to read as you are talking. So that's one of the key uses of this. Now I'm going to actually pause my presentation for a minute. And you see I can resume that session later. But what I'm going to do just now is I'm going to open this other browser and I'm going to go to the URL that was there earlier. And PowerPoint Live, it's connecting to the presentation. And you can see it's actually connected to what I've presented so far. It is showing the slide that was live and it's actually got the archive of the dialogue from what I've said so far. So let me go back to oh, the, my uh, presentation, but I'm going to actually reduce this and put this at the side so we can kind of see both at the one time. So let me just put that up there. Okay, so I can see that there. And if I come here, resume session, and that is continuing. And we can also see that someone has joined the private live session. So it is showing me that there is a viewer as well. So, and from the viewer side here, I can see the text appearing. So I can use this in a classroom. Students could be, you know, connecting as well. We can also use this over Zoom, for example. So I could be showing over Zoom. Students be, could be connecting with their own browser uh, direct to PowerPoint, or they could be watching my captions being broadcast over a screen share. And this is particularly useful because what you can see here is it also supports uh, translation. And so I can see that as I am talking, the captions are being presented, translated into the language of choice of the student. So that's a really fantastic and useful feature of this is that, you know, students can, can really be aided a lot in terms of understanding what's being said if I use this for my, for my presentations. Okay, so let me close this student view just now. And let's come back into this view. And so the key uses of this, I can use this live in a classroom with captions. I can also use this with Zoom. And uh, if I am doing screen share, I can share this screen and then the captions are live as part of the lecture presentation in Zoom. And, would, and if I'm recording, doing screen recordings, then again, I can do a live screen recording with the captions. You'll have seen some typos and that's okay. Uh, it can be helpful to go back and add manual captions to things to make sure that any typos are corrected. 
but generally I think the, the meaning is clear from the slides overall. And that's all. Thank you for watching and hope this is useful. Cheers.